What's up, Royals? I'm yours truly, King Chris. Welcome back to the conversation. This conversation will take us back to our murder mystery. The West Mesa murders are the killings of 11 women who remains were found buried in 2009 in the desert of West Mesa, Albuquerque, New Mexico. This case later would be renamed the West Mesa Bone Collector case. On February the 2nd, 2009, a woman walking her doll stumbled across human bones, the first of many that would become one of the largest crime scenes in American history. Between 2003 and 2006, at least 19 women and girls had disappeared on the street of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Most of them were Latino sex workers in their 20s. For years, no one knew what happened to them. The investigators will assemble a team and they will begin to dig into the site. As they begin to dig into the site, they realize that there was just not one person there. Over the next year, the Albuquerque Police Department will identify the bones of 11 girls who had disappeared between 2003 and 2005. They will come to the conclusion that there will be a serial killer responsible for these ladies' death. They will rename the case the West Mesa Bone Collector Case. It has been a decade since they have found the first body. It also has been a decade since they still have not found the other eight ladies that has been missing. They still have not confirmed a suspect in this case. As the investigators continue to work through their case, they begin to look through the past of all their victims. One thing they notice in common that their victims all were sex worker. They were prostitutes. Female prostitutes are more likely to be murdered than any other women. They have a higher chance of being murdered by a serial killer. The reason for is because they are likely to be missed and they are an easy target and they can get them to go with them without a struggle. As the investigators continue to dig the site, the family members begin to come through the site and started to leave morals for their loved ones. They knew that their loved ones were probably dead and that they knew that they were buried. A lot of them came and said that they knew the lifestyle of their loved ones and they knew that they struggled with drugs, but they never expected to find their loved ones dead. Although they have not charged anyone with the crime, they do have two suspects that they think is responsible for the crimes. First is Joseph Blaya. He's currently serving a 90 year prison sentence for several sexual assaults. He owned a landscaping business, and his former wives claimed he would make trips to the West Mesa late at night to dump landscaping debris. He allegedly knew and hired a few of the West Mesa victims. The other suspect, Lorenzo Montoya, was shot dead in December 2006. Coincidentally, the same year, the unusual disappearances seemed to stop. He had a history of violence, and on the night he was killed, Montoya had hired an escort. Investigators say once they were in his trailer, he tied her up and killed her. Montoya was in the process of disposing the body when the girl's boyfriend, who'd been waiting nearby in his car, approached the trailer, confronted Montoya, and shot him in self-defense. Royals, that is your conversation. Until we meet again, stay up, stay up, never down. May God bless.